hello lovely people welcome to my channel we have simplifying algebra and i shall be walking through three to four examples as this is really a simple topic in the sense that we only need to follow two steps we collect the like times these are the times that like the like the word says like times so we collect all those that do look alike and then the second thing we need to note is each sign that is your positive and, and and the negative sign is joined to the term that follows it once we do our examples you're going to understand those two things that we need to take into consideration when we are simplifying our algebra so let's start the first example here is 7a plus 2b minus 3a plus b we can see from this example that we have a and b times we collect the like times the one that do look alike are 7a and 3a minus 3a remember i said each sign that is the plus and the minus each of them is joined to the term that follows it so minus 3 a and 7 a they look alike so that we can take away 3 from 7 and that will give us 4 a and 2 b and b they look alike so plus 2 b plus b will give us 3 b now let's do it so collect like times such that we do a and minus 3a 7a minus 3a then we collect the b time which is plus 2b plus b 7a minus 3a is 4a plus 2b plus b is plus 3b we need to really take note of the sign here because if we do make a mistake with the term uh, with the sign then our answer will be wrong let's go to example number two with this example number two i have seven c squared minus 3c plus 2c squared minus c what are we going to do again we are going to collect all those that look alike the c squared 7c squared plus 2c squared that will give me i am writing it down i'm taking them step by step for the purpose of simplification but if you know what you're doing you don't need to write them down all the time you can simply just jump this step jump collect the like time steps because some people will just do this for them to not make any mistake when they are doing their simplification 7c squared plus 2c squared will give me 9c squared then minus 3c minus c will give me minus 4c and that is my answer let's check number three number three i have five x plus two y minus eight x minus three y minus 2x minus y what will be my answer i'm going to collect all the one that look alike 5x minus 8x minus 2x they are all alike 
So it's going to be 5x minus 8x. That will give me minus 3x. Minus 3x minus 2x. That will give me minus 5x. Minus 5x. Then I have plus 2y plus 2y minus 3y. That will give me minus y. Minus y minus y. That will give me minus 2y. This is really easy, isn't it? Then let's do two more examples. Like I said, it's really a very easy topic, which we can do in 10 to 20 seconds. As long as we follow the basic rules that says you have to collect the like terms, and then you need to make sure that when you're collecting your like terms, you make sure that each sign is joined to the term that follows it, so that when you're choosing it, you choose the correct sign as well. Let's do this one. 2mn, 2mn minus 5pq, minus 5mn, plus 8mn, minus pq. I'm going to do collect the like terms. I am actually going to write them down now. 2mn minus 5mn plus 8mn. Then I'm going to collect the term for the PQ, which is minus, don't forget the sign, minus 5 P, Q, minus P, Q. 2 M, N, minus 5 M, N, will give me minus 3 M, N. Plus 8 M, N, I'm going to have 5 M, N. Minus 5 P, Q, minus P, Q. That will give me minus 6 P, Q. Isn't that easy? Let's do one more. This is number four. Let's do one more. Number five. So I'm going to do x, y minus two, z plus seven x, y minus 10 x y I'm going to collect all the x y's this is like saying one we know we don't write one x y plus 7 x y is 8 x y minus 10 x y is 8 minus 10 that will be minus 2 x y then I have just one two z minus two z that is my answer i hope this is really clear and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look forward to weekly topic in mass thank you